Hey, what's up, everybody? Simon Marshall here, and check out my brand spanking new DVD um, Blu-ray I got from HMV Canada here, and I want to give out a shout out to Stevie Breach. Um, hey, Stevie Breach, excellent collection on the WWE Money in the Bank on Blu-ray. I will be getting that sometime because, well, you know what? Thank you so much for convincing me to get this. Uh, to get Blu-ray now, because, well, it's that time of the year, well, as you know, because, um, I don't think, um, I'll ever buy, uh, what do you call it, DVDs now, because I realize you're missing a whole lot if you buy the DVDs. Okay, here we go. WWE Home Video presents the best of WWF slash E at Madison Square Gardens, and on the cover, ladies and gentlemen, we got... Hollywood Hulk Hogan, WWE Hall of Famer, Bruno San Martino holding the WWWF Championship. And tell me, guys, who do you think that is? Is that Classy Freddie Blassie or Buddy Rogers, the original Nature Boy? And that's John Cena. That was from WrestleMania 20. So, believe it or not, this um, venue held all the original four pay-per-views. They've never, ever had a single in your house pay per view, none of the names like um, No Way Out, St. Valentine's Massacre, Backlash, Judgment Day, not even um, uh, King of the Ring, not One Night Stand, no uh, Bad Blood, no Bash, not even Unforgiven, no No Mercy, no uh, Cyber Sunday, and Armageddon. So that's okay. I prefer the originals. Like, believe it or not, the 2000 Royal Rumble was there, 2008, WrestleMania 10, WrestleMania 1, and WrestleMania 20 was there, SummerSlam 88, 91, and 98 were there. Survivor Series was 96, 2002, and 2011. Here we go. Ready? <clears throat> Here's what it says. For nearly 50 years, Madison Square Gardens have been the home of the WWE, relieved over 20 of the most iconic matches and moments to take place at the world's most famous arena, from Bruno San Martino's incredible championship run to John Cena's um, return to glory. There's the game Triple H, the Ultimate Warrior, Honky Tonk Man from SummerSlam 88, the Iron Sheik and Freddie Blassie, 1984. The Rock and The Road Dog, Jesse James. I'm not sure what that's from. So, also get the stories behind the history with the new interviews from the Garden's Greats, including Brett the Hitman Hart, Bob Backlund, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, Ivan Koloff, Trish Stratus, for the first time on Home Entertainment, Bruno San Martino. So, I'll show you the inside. See that? I got my sticker. Okay, here we go. That's disc one. Okay, let's take this off for a second. All right. And you know what? Let's not. I have a better idea. Watch this. All right. I'll take the slip off. And here we go. Okay, let's take a look. All right. 50 years of history, we got Ivan Koloff versus Pedro Morales for the WWF title. There's an interview by Bruno San Martino, a rematch from Baltimore, Maryland, when superstar Billy Graham took the WWF title from Bruno San Martino. Bob Backlund took it for him at MSG, and then this time he puts the title on the line against Kenny Pantera. And then WWE Hall of Famer Harley Race, so there was an undisputed match for the World Heavyweight title, which was held by the NWA, the WWE title. The Iron Sheik took it from Bob Backlund in 1983 when Blassie says, pull on it, pull on it, pull on it. That was his neck. The Iron Sheik versus Hollywood Hulk Hogan for the WWE title. There's Sergeant Slaughter. He... Had a boot camp match with the Iron Sheik. A date forever and hatched in history. Mr. McMahon. First, WrestleMania. March 31st, 1985. Hulk Hogan, the Hot Rod. Ready, ready. 
I mean, uh, Mr. T versus the Hot Rod, Roddy Roddy Piper, and Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. Robert Euchre, the late Andre the Dar Giant, and Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff versus Cowboy Bob Barton Jr., the Hot Rod, Roddy Roddy Piper. The Miz was interviewed, and there was the Intercontinental title match, the Honky Tonk Man versus the Ultimate Warrior at SummerSlam 88. Another great interview by Brett the Hitman Hart. He was at SummerSlam 91. He went up against the late great Mr. Perfect Kurt Hennig for the Intercontinental title. Howard Finkel was interviewed. And this is my all-time favorite WrestleMania 10 match. The WWE uh, Undisputed Intercontinental titles. Shawn Michaels versus Scott Hall. And an interview by Kevin Nash. The 10-second WWE title match between Kevin Nash and Bob Backlund. Alright, here we go. Now, disc two. Okay, here we go. Here's what I got. Alright. Under the Iconic Lights, interviewed by The Rock. It was the 1996 traditional Survivor Series match. The Rock teamed up with Wild Man Mark Merrow the Stalker, Barry Windham, and Jake the Snake Roberts. They took on Triple H, Brian Adams Crush, Gold Dust, and Jerry the King Lawler at November 17th, 1996. Another Mr. McMahon interview. Stone Cold stuns the boss on Monday Night Raw. That's where he says, Hell, you can kiss my ass. <laughs> Mick Foley, another great guy. Believe it or not, he's from Long Island, New York, which is the community of Uniondale. And here we go, Falls Count Anywhere, Triple H versus one of Mick Foley's alter ego, Cactus Jack, JR. The first ever tag team tables match at the Royal Rumble 2000, Dudley Boys versus the Hardy Boys. D. Bryan, a number one contender triple threat match for the WWE title Triple H versus Kurt Angle versus Chris Jericho Booker T and now the day of the invasion Booker T attacks Mr. McMahon with the WCW title Triple H he made his huge return after eight months sideline and he could not join the alliance during that day and that's when he was gone because he had his tricep surgery the Big Show, he took on John Cena at WrestleMania 20 for the U.S. title. My home girl, my favorite, no matter what, even though she's a mom, she will always be my favorite. WWE Hall of Famer Trish Stratus reflects on her match with Mickey James. Then Cena, the Battle Royal, when he returned at number 30, the Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels. The Triple Threat Undisputed Tag Team Championships. DX vs. Jericho vs. Cena and The Undertaker. Then there were great happy moments, which is hosted by Matt Stryker. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. So, Stevie Breach, you should add this to your collection, my friend. The Blu-ray exclusive, Jerry Briscoe interviews about the 80s. About uh, July 12, 1986. Bruno San Martino, Tito Santana versus the Macho Man, Randy Savage. Oh, yeah. And the late, great Adrian Adonis in a steel cage match. The Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, reflects on the Intercontinental title match. Because I think he had that uh, Million Dollar Belt. Yeah, Bret Hart versus Ted DiBiase. There's Alberto Del Rio, and I have the Survivor Series 2011. Alberto Del Rio versus CM Punk for the WWE title. And then after those exclusive matches, there were Trish Stratus, Kenny Pintor, Mr. Fuji, Road Warrior, Animal, The Birdman, Coco Beware, WWE Hall of Famer Barry Windham, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Offa's brother Sika of the Wild Samoans, Soul Man Rocky Johnson, the Rated R Superstar Edge, the Brooklyn Bra Brawler Steve Lombardi, and Mr. McMahon accepts his MSG 
Walk of Fame induction. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is an excellent collection. I highly recommend you all please get this on your Blu-ray collection because you know why? It is worth every penny. I enjoyed it and it's 14 because there's a couple of bloody matches. And I want to say Stevie Breach and WWE Punk Fan 19, get this collection now before you regret it. So, this is Simon Marshall saying thanks for watching.